part of your lab this week, you're going to be using the Beer Lambert Law to calculate either E or C. So we're going to go through a few examples so that you feel comfortable with your homework assignment. So the Beer Lambert Law is, is an equation that's used to calculate concentration based on absorbance. We're also going to use it to calculate E. You can see it's an algebraic equation. Absorbance equals the molar absorptivity of the sample, which is a constant for a uh, substance at a given wavelength, um, times the path length, which for our purposes is always going to be one centimeter, so we can basically pretend like it's not there since anything times one is itself. And then C is the concentration of the sample. So as we use this equation, I'm going to have to give you three out of the four items and you're going to have to solve for the last one. So we might have to rearrange the equation a little bit when we solve for E or C. So let's do a couple of examples. Okay. The first one that you're going to have to do, you're going to have to do this a couple times in the lab, is to calculate the value of E. So I'm telling you that you know the concentration of your substance is 0.5 micrograms per milliliter, microliter. And you measure an absorbance using your spectrophotometer of 1.2. What is the molar absorptivity constant? What is that E value? So there's our equation, and I'm going to write it on the board. A equals ELC. Right? And let's write down what we know. Okay, so we know that the path length L always equals 1. I have given you the C value. Right, C equals 0 0.5, and then we also have an A value. We know the absorbance is 1.2. Okay, so we're going to plug those values in and be able to solve for E. So, 1.2 equals E times 1 times 0 0.5. 1.2 equals E times 0 0.5 and divide both sides by 0 0.5 and we get a final value of E equals 2.4. So if you plug that in in your calculator you get E equals 2.4 and that would be your E value. So you're going to do several like this for your homework assignment. The other thing that I'm going to ask you to do in your homework assignment is calculate C. So let's look at one of those examples. So now it says you measure the absorbance of an unknown solution. So we don't know what the concentration is. And the absorbance is 0.73. Using the E value from example 1, what is the concentration of this solution? So we have our same equation, our path length is still 1, and our E from number 1, which we just did, is 2.4. So again, I'm going to write down what I know. I know that my path length is still 1. I know my E value is 2.4 from the last equation. And we figured out the absorbance is 0.73. So I'm going to plug that in, and this time I'm solving for C. So I have 0 0.73 equals 2.4 times 1 times the concentration. 0.73 equals 2.4 times the concentration. If I divide both sides by 2.4, I'm going to get a C value of 0.3. So 0, sorry, 0, my pen is not working. 0 0.3 equals C. And that would be your answer for this next one. Okay, so you're going to have to do one like this on your homework as well. The homework is also asking you to calculate the E value instead of using the Beer Lambert law, rather to um, estimate E using the slope of the line. Okay? So hopefully you remember the slope of the line equation um, is y2 minus y1, where those are two y values, they're both absorbances, divided by x2 minus x1, which are two concentration values. Okay? So basically you just need to fill in the points, subtract, and divide. 
So let's say our sample one, the concentration is 0.5 micrograms per microliter with an absorbance of 1.2. And our second concentration is uh, 0.3 micrograms per microliter and has an absorbance of 0.73. Okay, so there are my X and Y values. Um, and we can plug them in to the equation. Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. Okay, so we have um, Y1 val, well, yeah. So let's say that my Y2 is 1.2 and X2 is 0 0.5, Y1 is 0.73 and x1 is 0 0.3 and you can do them in whatever order it works the same the same way even if you divide it the other way so you're going to have 1.2 minus 0.73 divided by 0.5 minus 0.3 then um, once i subtract i get point Four seven divided by 0.2, and if I divide that out, I will get an E value of 2.35. So this would equal E, that molar absorptivity constant. So you, if you remember when we used the Beer-Lambert law, we got an E value of 2.4. So this is very close. It's another good way to estimate an E value if you don't want to use the Beer-Lambert law. Um, you're also going to be asked in your lab to find an unknown concentration graphically. So we learned how to do it with the Beer-Lambert law. But if we graph all of our concentration versus absorbance values, we can create a line of best fit. And then if we have an absorbance that um, we read, we can find where that would intersect our line of best fit and then just draw an imaginary line down to the concentration axis and, and estimate where that concentration would be just graphically. This is definitely not as accurate as using the Beer-Lambert law, but you will create a standard curve like this and use it to um, try to estimate an unknown concentration as well. Good luck with your homework.